Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for this no fuss dishcloth. This is a very simple pattern for beginners or experts alike if you want something quick and easy to make. Now for this dishcloth I use Lion Brands 24-7 cotton. This is a hundred percent cotton. Now if you use one of the other cotton yarns from a different manufacturer your dishcloth may be larger or it may be smaller depending on the cotton that you use. This dishcloth measures 8 inches across by 7 and 3 fourths inches high. It has a beautiful little delicate fan shaped shell going around the entire dishcloth just to give it a pretty accent. Now for this dishcloth, I called this the No Fuss because I just made it in one color in one piece. Now you can choose to do your border in a different color and you can choose to maybe put a little flower accent on your dishcloth to dress it up. All kinds of possibilities. So these are three of the colors of the dishcloth I made today. Now for this dishcloth, it takes about a little less than two ounces of cotton to make one dishcloth. So you can choose beautiful colorways from the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. And I'll have a special link in the description box that will take you right to Lion Brand and you can look at all the beautiful colorways available in this cotton. So this yellow dishcloth was made using color number 157 Lemon. This pretty pink dishcloth was made using color number 101 pink. And this green dishcloth was made using color number 156 mint. For today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to use this beautiful blue. Again, this is the 24-7 cotton. It comes in a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams. It's 186 yards, 170 meters per skein, and it's 100% mercerized cotton. It's classified as a four medium weight yarn. Now, I love this cotton because it has a really nice tight spun to it. It's a wonderful cotton and it has great stitch definition. So you're going to need about two ounces of the cotton and you're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our project started. I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn to your hook. We're going to begin and we're going to chain 26. You're going to yarn over the hook and pull through the loop on your hook. This creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have 26 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back. I have my chain with 26 chains and now we're ready to begin row one. For row one, it's going to be a simple single crochet row. We're going to skip this first chain and you're going to go into the second chain from hook and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through that chain. You have two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. Insert into the next chain. Work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain. Work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Continue and work one single crochet in each chain across and I'll meet you at the end of row one. 
I'm over at the end of row one. I worked one single crochet in each chain across and you should have a total of 25 single crochet stitches. Now, if you're new to crocheting and you have trouble with starting and ending your row, then go ahead and put a stitch marker into this last stitch and then come back and put a stitch marker into your very first single crochet. This way when you're working your rows you're going to know where the last stitch is when you come back with row two and where your first stitch is when you start the next row. You're going to move your stitch markers up to the first and last stitch of each row. So row one is finished and now we're going to start row two. Now this is a two row repeat, but just a very simple two row repeat. So rows two and three will be our repeat rows. So let's go ahead and begin row two. For row two, you're going to chain one. Now this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one and you're going to insert under the top two loops of that first stitch, work a single crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat pattern. In the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that stitch, yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. You're going to single crochet into the next stitch and we're always working under the top two loops. Insert under the top two loops of that next stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's go ahead and work it together across a few stitches double crochet into the next stitch, again going under the top two loops, single crochet into the next stitch. Again, that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Work that across to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row two. I'm over at the end of row two. You started with a single crochet and then you worked your repeat of a double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and you repeated that to the end of the row where you should end with a single crochet into the last stitch. Now again, if you're new to crocheting, move that stitch marker up to that last stitch you just made and then come back to the beginning of the row and place a stitch marker here into that first single crochet stitch. Move those stitch markers up with each row you do. So now it's time to start row three. For row three, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch, work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across and we always go under the top two loops. Insert into the next stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over at the end of row three. This is what your work should look like. You should have worked one single crochet 
in each stitch across and you're going to have a total of 25 stitches at the end of each row. You're going to have the same stitch count. So to continue working on your dishcloth, you're just going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat row two and row three a total of 11 more times. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat row two and row three 11 more times, and I'll meet you at the end of row 25. I'm over at the end of row 25. This is what your work looked like. You should have repeated rows 2 and row 3 a total of 11 more times, and you should be at the end of row 25. So now we're getting ready to start the border. Now, if you prefer not to work a border, then you can just fasten off here and keep it just plain and simple. If you would like to do the border, then we're going to go ahead and start right away. You do not turn your work. We're going to begin and we're going to work our first set of stitches right into the last single crochet made, right into this first row end stitch. So let's go ahead and begin round one of our border. You're going to chain one. Now this beginning chain one will not count as a stitch. You're going to work five half double crochet around the post of this ending single crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert around the post of that last stitch made, work five half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You're going to have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is how you make a half double crochet. You're going to work four more half double crochet into that same space. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work four half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Your shell stitch is made and each corner will have a shell stitch. So now we're going to go ahead and start working down the length of the dishcloth into the row end stitches. We worked into the first row end stitch we're going to skip this next row and stitch and you're going to single crochet into the next row and stitch. You're going to skip the next row and stitch and work five half double crochet into the next row and stitch. Yarn over, again, skip that next row and stitch, insert into the next row and stitch, work five half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And your shell stitch is made. And that is the end of the repeat. And I did forget to tell you the start of the repeat. The start of the repeat is where we skipped a row end stitch, single crocheted into the next, skipped a row end stitch, and five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip this next row end stitch and these stitches are going to come over. So make sure you're skipping the correct row end stitch skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip this next row end stitch and five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip this next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. One, two, 
three, four, and five. And we're just going to continue down to the corner. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip the next row end stitch, and five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip the next row end stitch single crochet into the next row end stitch. Now when you get down to your corner you're going to have two row end stitches remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish the repeat by skipping the next row end stitch but instead of working in the next row end stitch we want to go to the base of that row end stitch and into that first chain going across the bottom of our foundation chain. So again you're going to skip the next row end stitch and then into the base of the next row end stitch, follow it right down to the first chain going across the bottom of the foundation chain, work five half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. You're just going to turn your dishcloth and now we're going to be working across the bottom of the foundation chain. Again, you worked into the first chain, so we're going to skip the next chain, single crochet into the next chain. You're going to skip the next chain and work five half double crochet into the next chain. And we're just going to repeat that pattern across to the next corner. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip the next chain single crochet into the next chain. Skip the next chain, five half double crochet into the next chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip this next chain, single crochet into the next chain. Skip the next chain, five half double crochet into the next chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Skip the next chain, five half double crochet into the next chain.
skip the next chain, single crochet into the next chain. Skip the next chain, five half double crochet into the next chain. And again, we're working this pattern right over to our next corner. You're going to skip the next chain, single crochet into the next chain. When you look at your work, you're going to have two chains remaining. So we're going to skip the next chain and work five half double crochet into this ending chain. your corner shell is made. So, so far we worked around two sides, so we have two sides to go. So let's continue. Now, because we worked our corner into this ending chain, we're going to skip the first row end stitch. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and single crochet into this next row end stitch. You're going to skip the next row end stitch, work five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. And again, we're working this right down to our next corner. So we're almost down to our next corner, so let's continue. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, five half double crochet into the next row end stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. So when you look at your work, you have two row end stitches remaining. It's a little hard to see. Here's one and here's the second one. We're going to skip the next row end stitch and go into the base of the next row end stitch, which will be the first stitch going across the top of our dishcloth. So yarn over, again, skip the next row end stitch and go into the base of the next row end stitch, which is the first stitch. So go under the top two loops of that first stitch going across the top of the dish. Work five half double crochet. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Your corner shell is made. So now you're just going to spin your dishcloth around and we have one side to go to finish our dishcloth. So let's go ahead and continue. You already worked into the first stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, five half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, five half double crochet into the next stitch. And please excuse all that background noise if you hear it. I live right next to a major highway, so a lot of traffic noise. So I work my five half double crochet, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, five half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. So only a few more repeats to go. Skip the next stitch, five half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, work five half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. We have one stitch remaining and we're going to skip that stitch and now we're going to join our round by slip stitching into our first half double crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops of that first stitch and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. I'm going to fasten off and I like to fasten off a little bit longer length because I like to use my yarn needle to weave in those ends. So I chain two when I fasten off, pull my hook up, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down and it creates a secure knot. So now you're just going to take your yarn needle and you're going to weave this down through the stitches and then back up and then if you have enough yarn weave it in even a third time. And when you're washing those dishes you want your ends to be nice and secure. So our dishcloth is finished. I want to remind everyone about all the beautiful different colorways that Lion Brand has in the 24-7 cotton and you can use your own imagination when you're making this pattern. Again, you can take this pattern and maybe use a different color for your shell border, add a little flower onto your dishcloth and really make it stand out for the spring summer season. I hope you enjoyed today's video for the No Fuss dishcloth. Please make sure you hit that like button and please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone!